Any questions? Yes. Ms. Budo, you spoke a lot about coal in West Virginia and how it's brought jobs to your state. I don't mean to be a wise guy or anything like that, but West Virginia is known as one of the poorest states. It leads the nation in toothlessness. What exactly has coal done for West Virginia? If it's been such a boon and such a resource for West Virginia, why is the state so poor? Well, I think we've had our challenges, but I think that if you look at uh, our own natural resources, uh, I think it provides a lot of uh, jobs. It provides jobs in the location where people want to work uh, and want to stay with their families. It's very important to us as West Virginians. Uh, I think that we've learned lessons maybe from the coal industry in some sense so that we, uh, as we fully develop, uh, as we want to, our natural gas industry, that uh, we, we do it uh, more judiciously so that that wealth creation uh, does occur from the bottom up in our entire state. So I don't want to say that you know we haven't learned some lessons from the early development of coal. Is that I think, that it, I think at the university, uh, both all of our universities, it provides a great uh, training ground for uh, the development of future technology, the development of research in our in our state. Uh, it's uh, and so from that aspect, we have a shortage of. Uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and I think energy development provides uh, those um, futures for our state. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to hang my head on uh, uh, a state that I dearly love and is blessed with natural resources. Uh, we've had low manufacturing costs through the years. Have we had our rough times? We certainly have, but we look like we want to have a bright future, and that's what this is all about. Yeah, well, Dad, taking away from the